Hello guys, today I'll show you how to define and assign a L section column or for example C, C section column in Start Pro. Uh, so uh, an angle, uh, L shape in steel is an angle and C shape is a channel. Those are uh, in the database of different um, steel manufacturer uh, such as uh, the AIC specification or DAS specification, Canadian specification etc but how can we define a l shape concrete column or a c shape concrete column or a an e shape concrete column for example if we need uh, so uh, let's see how we can do it uh, in start pro and uh, uh, we'll uh, just assign uh, that section to one of our column in the uh, in tank model as you can see in my screen i have opened the uh, start pro uh, model of inch tank uh, that i uh, modeled in a in an earlier uh, lecture so i have assigned a circular column here uh, let me show you how we did it we just define uh, a section of circle with a diameter here and then just uh, it was created a circle uh, it, it created a circle circular section here and then we just assigned it to this one but as you can see we don't have any um uh, angle section here you can see if, if uh, even for the concrete material we don't have a, any option to define angle section here so how can we go how, how can we define it then so to do that uh, uh, you can see here we have option uh, user table as you can see if we click it it's bringing a, a box where you can see a, a l column have been defined i have defined already here uh, that's why it's showing but uh, let's forget about it from the beginning how can we define a l column and then assign it uh, to my structure well, so to do that uh, you need to go to tools uh, in start pro uh, b8i uh, i am using select series c uh, six uh, select series six and in that version you need to go to tools and then uh, find the create user table so if you can click it here and then this uh, pop-up window will appear. Uh, this window will pop up and you can see I have defined a several a section table already. That's why it's showing some of them. But if you just do it at, for the first time, it will show only list number one. So I want to create new list, okay? Then you just need to click new table and another uh, window will open. And from that box, you can just choose which type of section you want to define for example if you want a w section white flange section you can choose white flange if you want a channel then use channel for l shape i just need an angle right uh, if you want a t section something like t then you need double angle but then even the the, the right and left part of the t will not be connected though so to define a t section then you definitely need a t your the t option is available too so i i hope you understand the difference between t and double angle they look like same they look alike but uh, in double angle there is a gap between the wave and the stem of angles okay so um, there are two ways to define l section here uh, i will just use angle on time and then also you can use a general shape to define the angle section too. So let me show you how can we do it using a angle section. So to select angle here and then okay. And then come to this window and click add new property. You see, as I have chosen the angle section there, when I click add new property, it's showing an angle. Let me cancel it and show you. If I want to define a T section, let, let's click okay, add new property a tick session has appeared so you just need to go to that option and add new property and you need to give a name to this angle section for example uh, my l column dimension is say uh, i want a column of five meter by five meter and the uh, thickness of the leg is 10 uh, 10 inch that means 20, 20, 250 millimeter so uh, my let me put the name as uh, 500 means 25 sorry 20 inch 
by 20 inch by 10 inch. So that's 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter by uh, 250 millimeter. That means 20 inch by 20 inch by 10 inch column. Uh, that's L column, right? So my D dimension will be 0.5 meter. You can see the unit here, it's uh, in meter. Then the thickness of the, uh, sorry, length of the other flange or leg, that's also 5.5 for me. And the thickness of the leg, so that's 0.25 for me. You don't need to uh, put any other values. If you want, you can calculate it and insert here. Uh, if you don't, it will calculate it by its, uh, its own and just use that property for an structural analysis and design. So you can just, if you just click, create, click calculate, it will also calculate this value. So it doesn't matter whether you calculate it or not, okay? So after inserting these values, you can just click okay. As you can see, under the list number seven, it has created a L column uh, uh, with the name UPT L2020 by 10. So you can close this window and you can just come to this user table. And you can see if you just select the list number seven, you will see that column. So you can choose the material type or you want definitely concrete, then add. If you just click that, you can see in the properties table, it has uh, brought that section into the uh, uh, section reference manual. So now you can select this one and assign it to this column, for example. Let me do it and show how it works. So since I have chosen, uh, selected this one and also this column, and let's, with the assign to selected beams highlighted, click just assign and see if it has made any changes. So uh, you can see uh, the column has been changed from a circular column to a L column. Let's see if it's a L column or not. We can just go to a rotated view and you can see. Uh, let me show. So you need to, uh, as you can see here, uh, it's a L column, right? You can see uh, this is a L shaped column. And we can see the dimensions also uh, if you want. But uh, you have seen that uh, it has changed. So let me go back to that column again. And let's just undo it. And I want to keep this circular column here. So that's one way to uh, define and assign a, a L column. And let me show you the other way. So also you need to go to the uh, create user table option here. And then under uh, seven, say I want another uh, new table. And as I said, we can use the general option here and then, okay. Uh, so I want a new property. As you can see, when you choose general, it's just giving you some random uh, uh, values in a, in a plane. Uh, like as you can see, uh, in the vertical direction, the axis is Y. In the horizontal direction, the axis is uh, Z. And X axis is just perpendicular to the board here, as you can see, IX, IY, and IZ calculation and their axis. <coughs> so using the general properties, we can define a uh, angle section that has different leg width or leg thickness, right? In the previous option, we had only one option to define the thickness of the leg. So in that, L, if we choose L option, you need to have a column with same leg width or thickness. Uh, the leg length can be different, but the thickness should be same. But if I want to have a diff, uh, column, L column with uh, different leg thickness, then you need to come to this option. So I need to put a name here. For example, I want uh, L section 20 by uh, 10 and uh, 20 by 8 inch, for example. So in that case, uh, I need to insert uh, the uh, end points of the columns. So uh, I think it will be better to define the points using a uh, using the coordinates. So let me draw it here. So I want a column that is like this. So I need the coordinates of the uh, corner points of this column, okay? So I need six, six points. 
So if this is my coordinate system, then I need six points. And uh, you remember we have here Z and Y. That means I need to place the Z and Y coordinate of the point. So this is my origin and that's zero, zero then. And if I want this, this dimension to be 20 inch, so that's 0.5 meter. Uh, the coordinate of this point is 0.5 meter and zero, right? So uh, let's check again. Z axis is horizontal, sorry, and the Y axis is vertical. So you need to remember that. And uh, let me put it here. That's Y and that's Z. So uh, that's zero. This is the first one is Z value and second one is Y value. So this will be a zero comma 0.25, right? And this part will be, say for example, this is 10 inch. That means that's another 250 millimeter. So this value will be 0.25 comma. Oh, sorry, I, I want this side to be 20 inch. So this is 0.5 meter. That means this one will be zero and 0.5. This will be 0.25 and 0.5. Come on. And this coordinate will be 0.25 comma. Uh, let's say this is 200 millimeter. That means that's eight inch. So this one is 0.25 comma 0.2. Uh, this is again, I want this side to be 20 inch. So that's 0 0.52, 0 0.5 comma 0.2. And this point is 0.5 comma zero. So these are my coordinates. And I need to put that value here. So I will put the zero, zero first, okay? Uh, you need to check this one first, then zero, uh, use your right key uh, on the keyboard to move the cursor from left box to right box and then press enter. Uh, and you can just use the uh, lower arrow key on your keyboard to come to the second node. So it has created the origin there. And I have a node at 0 0.5, uh, sorry, zero, then 0.5. Then I have another node at uh, 0.25 and then 0.5. I have another node of at 0.25 and 0.5. I have another node at uh, 0.5 and 0 0.25. 0 0.5, 0 0.25. Then I have another node at uh, 0 0.50. Uh, I think I missed one point or I inserted a wrong number here. So the four, four is similar to five actually. Yes, I made a mistake. Uh, let me go. The number four is 0 0.25 and 0 0.2. 0 0.25 and 0 0.2. 0 0.25 and 0 0.2. then this value is 0.22. So that's how you can create a L column uh, with different leg thickness, okay? So as you can see, and if you calculate the compute section properties, you can see all the boxes here are filled with uh, the computed properties. You can check also if the if it has calculated the correct uh, moment of inertia about I, X, uh, Y, X, and Z axis. Um, definitely, I checked it, so, uh, uh, and, uh, you, you don't need to put the TD or TB thickness. That's the thickness of the leg. But actually, uh, we have defined it with the geometry or the coordinate system, okay? So you can just now click OK and then uh, close this window. So uh, if I want to assign that column to this, uh, that section to this column, uh, then you need to uh, bring that section to this list, right? So you, to do that, you need to go to def use a defined table and you see the See, existing list is just one. I think I defined it under uh, section nine. Yes, so uh, under list nine. So you need to select the list nine and then uh, use this one, choose the material from steel to concrete and then click add. So as you can see, it has added that section as a, uh, with material concrete uh, to this section list with the reference number 13. So you can select that column and then you see, 
select that section and use the column or the geometry from this window to as where you for for the you need to select that column where you want to assign this section if i only want to assign this section to all the columns you need to select all the columns and then uh, click assign to selected beams and then assign mm -hmm. so let me do it now if i uh, do it then how what do you see any changes here you can see uh, the circular column has been changed has uh, changed to a l shape here so i can just select this one and view this part only and then you can uh, clearly uh, see with a rotated view how, how it works right so you can see a, a l column has been created and uh, that's how we use a um, we use the user uh, table to define a l column or for example if you want a channel shape then you can uh, do it uh, similar in the similar way so uh, that's how we do it also uh, one person uh, just asked me a question how can we define a flat slab so it's easy and it's in my uh, first lecture of um, instant design uh, where we modeled the uh, cylindrical and top dome slabs as uniform uh, with uniform thickness sorry the cylindrical wall had different thickness i believe but the top dome had a similar thickness all across its cross section so from here you can see um, from under the general tab you, you see the section properties here so you just go to the thickness option here you just click on it and it's just asking whether you want to define a, the thickness of a plate element or a surface thick surface element so we just use a plate element here uh, and then you just need to put the thickness at four different nodes if you have variable thickness of slab then you can uh, just use that uh, different thickness here but if you want a semi uh, uniform thickness all across the uh, plane then you just put a value for example if i want 100 millimeter thickness that is four inch then you can just put 0.1 meter here so it, by default it will take that but you can edit it if i if you want for example i want a thickness of 100 millimeter at the bottom but i want uh, 0.3 inch for 0.75 uh, me points 0 0.075 meter at the top for example then you can just edit it uh, this way okay so that, that that's that's how you uh, you just uh, uh, insert or define a uh, plate section so uh, if it's a flat plate then the thickness is uh, same everywhere if you have a different thickness then you can do it here too so uh, uh, i hope you can do it now thank you